Hello, my name is Yulan Lin, and I'm a developer advocate for Data Studio. Today, I'm going to tell you how to use your community visualization as a chart interaction filter. Let's first take a look at Data Studio and what chart interactions look like without community visualizations. So when we're looking at the Data Studio UI, here I have a pie chart configured. And I click on a um, slice, it can filter the rest of the dashboard. Now, you can actually do the same thing with a community visualization. Here, we're looking at a bar chart community visualization that I've built. And if I click on a bar, it provides this kind of red highlight and filters the rest of my dashboard. So how do we configure that in community visualizations? To make a community viz act as a chart filter, you have to do two things. One, you have to add it to your visualization config. Two is you have to write code for the visualization to tell Data Studio, hey, apply the filter. And these are the parameters with which you're going to apply the filter. Let's go through these in a little bit more detail. So in your viz config, there's already two keys that you're probably familiar with, the data key and the style key. Now let's add a third one, interactions, where you configure the interactions for your visualization. In this case, we care about your visualization acting as a chart filter. So you're going to provide an ID. Here I've called it on click, but that ID can really be anything as long as you remember it, because we're going to be using it in the code that we write later. The other thing you need to consider is the supported actions key. And that's an array. And in that array, we're actually going to put filter in all caps, because we want the visualization to be able to act as a filter. What does it look like to write code to tell Data Studio to apply a filter? Let's say I have a bar chart. This is number of books by language. And the user has selected the bar that corresponds to Spanish language books. So the user's clicked on a bar. The visualization has to figure out, well, which dimension value is associated with this bar in the bar chart? And then it has to send a message to Data Studio to say, I want to filter the rest of the dashboard by this filter, language equals Spanish. And so to ask Data Studio to apply a filter, this is the code that you need to understand. There's this interaction data object. Um, and then you say DSCC, which is the helper library that we've built, send interaction, action ID, filter, and interaction data. I'll leave you to review the documentation to understand action ID and filter. But I do want to spend some time on interaction data, because those are the parameters that dictate how Data Studio will filter the rest of your dashboard. Interaction data has two keys, concepts, which is an array of dimension IDs, and values, which is an array of values, or actually an array of array of values that together tell Data Studio what the parameters on applying that filter look like. To make this more concrete, let's take a look at that bar chart again. In the case where I'm clicking on one bar, my interaction is going to look like concepts. I'm going to say language dimension ID, which is the field ID associated with the dimension I care about, in this case, language, and then values. In this case, it's Spanish. And that's the interaction data I'm going to send to Data Studio to tell Data Studio, hey, I'm going to filter just by Spanish language books, or I'm going to filter by both Spanish and English language books and change the rest of the dashboard. So to understand this a little bit more, let's actually translate that same interaction data object into an approximate SQL query. So that interaction data object where I'm selecting only by Spanish language books looks something like select data where language dimension ID is Spanish. Right? And that's basically what you're telling Data Studio when you send that interaction data object so that it can filter the rest of the dashboard. What about a more complicated filter interaction? In this case, I have a filter um, that I want to apply on a heat map. And so this heat map has two dimensions and one metric, have day of week and time of day. And I've clicked on Friday afternoon and Monday evening. And so my concepts, my two dimensions, are day of week ID and time of day ID. And the values, well, I've clicked on Monday evening. So I have this first array that corresponds to Monday evening. And then I've also clicked on Friday afternoon. So I have the second value, or second array, that corresponds to Friday afternoon. And this is the object I send to Data Studio to tell it to apply a filter so that if I were to go back to Data Studio and pull up that heat map, and I click on, I think I said Monday 
morning and Friday afternoon, right? That's the kind of query or filter that I'm telling Data Studio to use. Again, let's look at the approximate SQL because I find that really helpful for understanding what's going on. The approximate SQL translation of this particular data object is to select data where the day of week ID is Monday and the time of day ID is evening, or the day of week ID is Friday and the time of day ID is afternoon. Essentially, I'm saying select all the data corresponding to Monday evening or Friday afternoon. So in summary, there's two things you need to do to configure your community visualization to work as a chart filter. One is you need to add interactions to your visualization config. Two is you need to write code for the visualization to tell Data Studio, you should apply a filter, and not only should you apply a filter, here are the parameters with which you're going to do so. I've just shown you how to write code to make your community visualization act as a chart interaction filter. To learn more, you should review the library reference um, on our developer documentation, as well as the interactions guide. So you should go to developers.google.com slash data studio slash visualization, share it on social media using the hashtag data studio devs or submit to our showcase.